Hello friends, welcome to MySQL video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to display list of databases available in MySQL server. To display list of databases available in MySQL server, we take help of show databases command. To display list of databases available in MySQL server, we write show space databases then semicolon. I minimize the word. Let me launch MySQL console. To launch MySQL console, I double click on WAMP server shortcut available at the desktop. After few seconds, you will find WAMP server icon available in the system tray. I click on WAMP server icon, go to MySQL, click on MySQL console. You can see that MySQL console is launched. I hit enter. To display list of databases available in MySQL server, I say show space databases semicolon hit enter. You can see that it has displayed list of databases available in MySQL server. When you install MySQL, by default it comes with four databases guys. They are information underscore schema, MySQL, performance underscore schema, and sys database. The fifth database WordPress is created by me. I have created WordPress database guys. In the upcoming video tutorials, we understand what is a database, when do we create a database, how do we create database, how do we delete database, etc, etc, etc guys. At present, you should remember that to display list of databases available in MySQL server, we take help of show databases command. We write show space databases semicolon. In the previous video tutorials, we understood how to exit from MySQL console. To exit from MySQL console, we take help of exit command. We write exit, then we say semicolon. I hit enter. You can see that MySQL console is closed. That's it guys for this video tutorial. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to try to remember all the commands that I teach in this video tutorials series practice them as much as possible. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.